Well, we are working on something like that and we have to figure out how we are going to publicize it because it is it's a, it's a tough thing. While you publicize it and you want everyone to know this, at the same time, there are perpetrators who will know this too. That's why we started with the iMatter app because this is a simple hit of the panic button. Links you to 914 and if things are happening, people can hear you. You don't have to dial anything. Okay. You know, it links. And what we want to tell people, if you have downloaded the iMatter app, keep your location on. But I think this year the public will see more emphasis being paid to public awareness so that people know what is out there and how they can access it. The ministry launched the iMatter app and the feedback has been good. People are saying that they're finding people actually called in and got help and they're finding resources on the iMatter app to help them in all the different cases. Because how it is set out, there is a panic button that links directly to 914 and the app. So it's a downloadable app, it's free to download, and like the 914 hotline, it's 24 hours access to our service. We want people to get into the reporting mode so that we can get into the service mode of helping. And if you are seeing that person enduring that kind of brutality, it should tug at some heartstring or some emotional conscience that you may have. And so I would like to tell people, one, report, because there is no reason that you can't report.